Hello friends, welcome to the video. My name is Farron. I'm usually behind the sewing machine, but as you can see, we're doing something a little bit different today than our regular sewing program. Today, I'm gonna to show you the process of how I made my extra large table for cutting fabric. This table is super easy. Even I can do it and I'm pretty novice when it comes to woodworking. It's also an inexpensive option and versatile for those small sewing and crafting spaces. So without further ado, let's go get some of our materials. get into the tutorial. I have to say, it's really just me talking about my table. I thought this was a great opportunity to take you through the process of how I built my table out of a desk. It's inexpensive and you can make it at home and you don't have to have that many woodworking skills, I swear. Like I put this thing together within a couple of hours. And the tabletop is also removable. You can store it very easily in different areas of your house. It can be used as a desk, it can be used as a cutting table. So if you have a small space, this is a perfect option for you. So let's start with what I had previously because I was getting a lot of questions about this table right here. This previous table was taken from an old factory. I just happened to be at the right place the right time. It was a really cheap option for me because I had a small space at the time and I needed this tabletop to be moved around. So what I did was I took the tabletop and I put it on top of another table and sometimes I would even prop it up with bricks. Yeah, that's right. You just sort of make do with what you have at the time. That idea of what I did there many years ago inspired this table. You can make it work with a desk that you can find at any secondhand store and just buy the MDF. MDF is a really great option. It's inexpensive and it's sturdy. Also plywood is good if you want a a cheap option but you have to make sure not to get something super flimsy because you want it as a sturdy table you know if you want to put uh, linoleum on top or any sort of like cutting mat that's up to you that's extra cost okay now that you have your tabletop material and your desk place your desk on top and measure from the desk to your material edge as you can see, I built this frame in order for the tabletop to fit comfortably on top of the desk. I extended the frame to the edge of the plywood because I needed that extra support because the plywood is longer than the desk tabletop. Obviously, the plywood needed that support on that side. I decided not to center the desk on the plywood because then I would have had to build supports on both sides of the plywood and I didn't want to do that. I also wanted access to the drawer here pretty easily instead of, you know, going all the way underneath the table. I wanted it to be a bit closer. I also drilled some holes here on the frame and this is very important that your frame is a bit thicker than your tabletop because I put locks on each corner so the locks are able to connect to the frame of the tabletop. Okay, let's move on to the legs. In order for this to be a proper cutting table, professional cutting table, the table needs to be brought up to the height of your waist. This is important because you don't wanna be cutting sitting down. That's not how you move around your pieces, right? Therefore, the table needs to be brought up to the height of however tall you are. What I used is these recycled wood blocks and I just put these dowels on the inside so I could sort of just pop them into the bottom of my desk. 
You could make your own from scratch. Like if you don't wanna go to a secondhand store and you're like, I don't wanna look on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace for a desk, that's totally cool. You can build your own yourself, but it's gonna cost you probably five or 600 USD. And I know that because I looked it up on a couple blogs and people have amazing construction plans for cutting tables. But again, I wanted it to be simple and easy and versatile. I didn't want something that was stable in my place. My studio is pretty small. I'm in my living room and I have a small little space to myself. I'm able to just tuck my desk in the corner and pull it out anytime that I'm filming here with you. That being said, I would have to say that this is the most inexpensive option there is for a cutting table. I have to say no, maybe not, because cutting on the floor is probably the most inexpensive <laughs> way which I used to do a lot when I first started out my women's wear collection, but after a couple years of doing that, you kind of hurt your back. So here is the least expensive option there is possible for a professional cutting table. Ta -da! It was that easy. If you would like to make this table yourself, I have included a free PDF down below of my plans for this table in particular, you can use them as a guide to help you on your own table making adventure. And just take note that my desk measurements are probably going to be different than your desk measurements. If you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so I can see you in the next video. I'm out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. We're here in a lumber yard. And today 